wildlife conservation in the Truckee River watershed, and the role of genetics in the survival of species. My name is Adrian Pena, and I will take you through wildlife conservation in this diverse northern Nevada region. Here I will be focusing on the application of genetics in wildlife conservation, teaching you about genetics along the way. The Lahontan cutthroat trout is a species of trout native to the Truckee River. It very quickly became a common food source for Native Americans and white settlers alike. The significance of the fish should have led these people to try and preserve it, but that was not the case. Damming and fishing went on to harm the fish's ability to survive, ultimately depleting the Pyramid Lake population by 1940. The extinction of animal species can be caused by things such as disease, habitat alteration or loss, or human actions. Realizing that we as humans have impacts on other species, people have gone on to make efforts of conserving wildlife in the hopes that endangered animals may continue to thrive. Wildlife conservation holds significance because life is unique to our planet. If so many animal species were allowed to go extinct, our environment would lose its multidimensionality over time. Biodiversity and the variety and variability of life on Earth is precious, and maintaining it keeps our planet unique. There are some underlying scientific aspects to wildlife conservation. We will look at the field of conservation genetics, which is defined as the application of genetics to preserve species. Genetics can be negatively impacted by a decrease in genetic diversity and an increase in inbreeding within small populations, such as the animals we will be looking at here. Before delving into any research findings, we should go over some technical terms relating to genetics. First, a gene is the basic unit of inheritance responsible for the traits we exhibit, and alleles are variants of these genes. Additionally, we have two alleles for each gene, which can combine and affect the traits that we have. An example having to do with alleles and different combinations of them is eye color. It is possible that you may know more brown-eyed people than blue-eyed people. That is because the allele for brown eyes is dominant over the allele for blue eyes. In other words, having both the brown and blue eye allele will result in you having brown eyes because of its dominance. This image shows different combinations of these alleles. The Truckee River watershed is a very distinct region of the United States. I reached out to Dr. Hugh Britton, a professor in the biology department at the University of South Dakota, who performed research at the University of Nevada, Reno. According to Dr. Britton, there are many unique habitats within the watershed that result in small, isolated populations for which we have no genetic information. Some species in the Truckee River watershed are considered to be at risk. Examples include the Lahontan cutthroat trout mentioned earlier and the kiwi, which Dr. Britton studied. Both fish species are considered to be threatened or endangered, and researchers have taken to studying animals like them in order to observe changes in the genetic diversity of their populations. The Kwiwi is a species of fish which inhabits Pyramid Lake and Lake Winnemucca and is significantly affected by changes in its environment. Water diversions led to falling water levels at Pyramid Lake, and reproduction became more difficult as Kwiwi swim upriver to spawn. The Pyramid Lake population then experienced a population bottleneck, a sharp reduction in the size of the population. Dr. Britton conducted a study along with Dr. Peter Broussard using 13 Kwiwi, classifying them in pre- and post-bottleneck age classes. Findings indicated more genetic diversity in the pre-bottleneck group in comparison to the post-bottleneck group. The lower genetic diversity of the post-bottleneck group could then lead to decreasing populations if left alone. The Lahontan Twee Chub is another fish with studies conducted relating to conservation genetics. This fish inhabits the waters of the Truckee River in addition to others such as the Walker, Carson, and Humboldt rivers. Threats to the fish include increased water salinity as well as reduced water levels due to water diversions. Between 10 and 50 tweed chub fish from 11 different locations were studied by Dr. Amanda J. Finger and Dr. Bernie May. Their findings described that populations from Walker Lake and Pyramid Lake were shown to have the greatest genetic diversity because of their significantly larger populations. On the other hand, the population in Dixie Valley had the lowest diversity and evidence of a bottleneck. Using these research findings, conservationists can assist threatened species by addressing the genetic issues. In the case of the Kiwi, Dr. Britton and Dr. Broussard suggest that more pre-bottleneck fish be introduced to populations to increase genetic diversity. For the Lahontan Twee Chub, the researchers proposed that increasing habitat size and genetic monitoring would help. I find the Lahontan cutthroat trout to be a marvel of the Truckee River. With its distinct body pattern and the fact that it is the largest subspecies of cutthroat trout, it is easily identifiable. 
In addition, it holds the title of being the state fish of Nevada, and a deeper history rooted here in northern Nevada than most could imagine. This fish is thought to have evolved about 14,000 years ago in Lake Lahontan, in the harsh desert environment that the Truckee River now flows through. Even with its ability to survive in this environment, however, human actions such as fishing and damming have forced it to keep fighting to survive, as the possibility of becoming extinct remains. Research performed on the Lahontan cutthroat trout focused on its fragmented population across the region, increasing the risk of lower genetic diversity and isolating them from each other. Their isolation was found to increase risk of extinction for the fish species as habitats and populations would decrease in size over time. The Lahontan cutthroat trout still faces the challenges it has been facing for the past couple centuries, despite surviving for several thousand years. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Lahontan cutthroat trout is considered to be a threatened species. Although it is very capable of adapting, the gene pool of the species is becoming more and more restricted and could lead to total extinction. You still may be wondering why any of this matters to us. Wildlife provides us with bioresources such as food, and greater biodiversity allows ecosystems to become more sustainable. We as humans can have a significant role in protecting our planet, but we have to choose to do so. Why not make the choice to protect the wildlife we have coexisted with for so long?